Good evening, folks. This is your boy, the G Flash, and welcome back for some more Fey a Legendary trailer reaction. And I'm joined with two guests tonight, uh, Samir and Ken Dog the Yoshi Main. Hello. Hey, I'm finally back. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, Samir. It's been so. Uh, well, tonight I wasn't actually expecting a trailer because it's only the 21st, but then I realized, oh yeah, the New Year banner is about to come, so it makes sense. And it's Christmas as well. Um, so, yeah, so tonight we have got the, the trailer for tonight, and it's surprisingly a candidate that I didn't even expect them to make, and it's Shez. Now, which version of Shez? Well, we'll have to see, though. So let's see what Shez brings. So, three, two, one. Play. Yeah, I don't think any of us was expecting Shez tonight. I know. Yeah, this early. <laughs> yeah. But like, it's cool. It's just cool. Oh, I love this music. The I swear by my sword music. Great uh, song. It's female Shez. The female version. I was alone for a long guessed. time. Was Shez in there up in this house? A blue dagger? Wait, what? A blue dagger you hit? <laughs> Oh, Asura Blaze. Yep, that's the, the, the weapon you unlock at the, the Asura class. Are those like dagger type weapons? Shall we go? Yeah. Oh, of course she's paired with Arvel. That makes sense. I'm unstoppable. Cool. I like that. Ooh. Okay. She Let's let her roll. Like, Prom. Sell it! Oh. I'm sorry? Oh, okay. Why is there two new legends gang on this banner? Yeah, this man is stacked. It's not fair. I, Dang. I wasted all my words on the Christmas banner. I just. Yeah, this is going to loot. Um, so, um. Oh, come this on. Banner, this banner is on um, really good. Wow. Dude. Why? I just spent my orbs on Annette, so thank you. And I plus him. I spent my orbs on Dorothea. I didn't oh, even man. get her on that cool banner. I had to spark for her. Oh. Oof. I didn't even get any like five stars before that. Nothing on the banner. Anymore. Yeah. Okay. So that was uh that was interesting. So let's go over female chess and. Uh, she is a fire legendary, and it does make sense because. When uh, Shez, no matter which one it is, when you know Shez goes into full awakening mode in um, Three Hosts, uh, they do look like they're on fire, so it makes sense. So as you can see, female Shez is wielding the dual swords that, of course, uh, is you know the class that you unlock when like you first start as Shez. Though now, of course, it gets stronger with the Asura class though. Uh, so that's why you're seeing Shez wielding, uh, female Shez wielding the swords. Now the male version already will both of us, so I guess some people are like, why did you make the other female Shez like an axe unit? So they made, finally gave her the swords though. And, except she has, she's a blue unit. Yeah, and she's works. a blue dagger infantry, so that's a pretty neat class, I will say. Okay, so let's yeah. see what uh what female Shaz has. So, Asura Blades, Grand Speed plus five, uh, unit attacks twice. Uh, so dual phase brave weapon right off the bat. Uh, oh, penalty neutralization. Oh boy. Uh, if unit speed is greater than full speed, Grand Special cooldown charge plus one per attack, and then Dagger seven. Okay, that's a pretty good combo. So dual phase brave attack. Penalty neutralization, and if you're faster than the foe, you get special ramping. So basically, a uh, flashing blade, and then a dagger seven. Well, that's pretty good. Um, glimmer and the swift slice. Okay, what is this? Um, if unit initiates combat or if unit is within two spaces of an ally, it grants all stats plus eight to unit during combat. Eight. Yeah, if unit initiates combat against a non-dragon or non-beast infantry foe and unit is faster than the foe by 20 and then grants... 20, God. Oh my gosh. 
That's you have really got to be kidding. Grant's effective against all weapon types to unit during combat. Otherwise, if unit initiates combat and unit speed is greater than foes by five, Grant's effective against uh Grant's effective against all weapon types to unit during combat. Oh. Dang, that's powerful. Oh my god. Okay, so it's a bit strange that it has to be plus twenty with dragons though. No, it's plus it's plus five for everyone, for dragons and bees, and it's plus um twenty for everyone else. Yeah, so you basically so you get plus eight to all stats, and then uh oh, okay, I understand how this works now. So basically, against a human ally, if uh oh, hold on a minute. If against a non dragon or non beast in front, oh, so basically against any kind of like infantry human people that's not dragon or beast and sheds is faster than them by 20%, like by 20 points of speed, then you know, grants the effective damage against everybody, but otherwise, if sheds is just faster than the foe by five, then of course. Shez is just effective against all weapon types. Well, I mean, nonetheless, this is powerful so that Shez can just one-shot people, like, really, really, like, easily, though. So, yeah, yeah that's yes. <laughs> that's pretty nuts. Now, this combos well with the B slot. Seal Speed 4. Now, we've seen these Tier 4 version of the Seal skills from the Ninja Banner that happened this Man. year, and they're all pretty good, though. Uh, so, this is a speed variant of it that does a bunch of debuffs and that has the guard on the foe. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And then finally, the perfect skill, which is just attack speed oath 4. Um, so yeah, basically, female Chez is just gonna be this absolutely offensive blue dagger unit that wants to be very fast, double everybody, and then get the effective damage, pretty much. She's a nuisance! Oh, look yep. who's here! It's GDK. Yeah, sorry for the late arrival, folks. My internet was being a little bit of a... What's the word? Um, basically I giving mean, me issues, and I couldn't get on very quickly. So, yeah. But okay. also at the same time, I'm just gonna say this right now, because I've already gone over the skills and stuff. This lady is gonna be a nuisance in AR and everywhere else. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and I would also like to point out, yes, Seal Speed uh, 4 is basically all the all the rage and st stuff, but considering the fact that we got Special Spiral 4, that's going to make her even worse. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I, uh, I am scared, but I'm grateful. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And, 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 and a funny thing, and here's a funny thing, folks. I mean, we literally just got Shez in the game about two months ago, and they're already giving her a legendary ult. Yeah, that's kind of the dumb part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. That's the flipping dumb part. Now, I can understand maybe, like, another ult or whatever, you know, because, I mean, hey, this is IS we're talking about. But... To see her getting a legendary ult, especially this kind of caliber, let's just be grateful that she ain't colorless because that would have been uh, suckish. I would have been a nightmare. Um, yeah, that would have been a big nightmare. Oh, yeah. All I'm, go all I'm gonna say is yes, she's got a very big, uh, very powerful weapon and stuff, and her thing is ridiculous. Um, one thing that I will say is that I did talk to Ken about this earlier. If there's a chance, that next Tempest Trial brings out a close counter seal uh, uh, for the uh, for the dagger units. It's gonna be a living nightmare. Uh huh. Definitely. Yeah, but if they don't, then I mean people can still maybe put uh, put her to shame a little bit. But still, this late this this lady, I, I don't. Even, I can all I can tell you this right now. I I mean for one, I like Sheds as a character and stuff. But this kit, oh my god, seriously, I mean, it's one, one big, 
um, minutes after another. I mean, if we're looking back at all the other ones, this one has to be the one uh, one weapon slash kit that basically makes all the other units terrible. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm and honestly, I mean, you know, people are going to be going for a plus ten version, so for sure. Yeah, this is going to be a nightmare. But uh -huh. also at the same time, you know. I mean, considering the fact that we are getting the Engage Cup, I'm surprised that uh, surprised that we're doing that instead of this. <laughs> yeah. Because you know everybody would be wanting to uh, get a free uh, Chez for sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. So that's your Chez for you. Absolutely offensive powerhouse, though. Um, so now let's see everybody else that's on the banner. And I got to say, we've got a pretty stacked lineup this time around. So for red, we've got Lelina's Brave Celeb and Legendary Sigurd. So yeah, three yeah. of the most powerful red units, though. Brave Celeb, especially with, especially now you slap the Miracle Sacred Steel on him, and he's just an undying god, pretty much. He's like an immortal. Now, if he is to maximum immortal, is when you slap the Mystic Boost 4 skill on his B skill, and combo that with Mystic Boost Seal. Then, yeah, he is the un unstoppable, undying, uh, absolute immortal. You can't kill him then. Um, so, uh, yeah, and the Legendary Sigur still provides that plus one movement, though, with his Holy Knight aura. And the Legendary Lilina still nukes pretty hard. Um, so, those are good. And then, blue, we've got Chez. We got Brave Krom, who is. Just absolutely a, a beast when he copies like all their like buff status though, and then legendary Murr, who is still a pretty tanky dragon. Now you just slap the the distant counter seal on her. Green, you've got brave Tiki. Wait, you gotta be kidding. The entire last choose your legends units are all on yeah, this banner. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. All of them are included on this. Yep. yep. Oh wow. Yeah, all so, <laughs> okay, so Brave Tiki, Legendary Ninian, and Sather, our newest free-to-play goddess, are here. So, these three are really powerful. Um, and then colorless, we've got Brave Claude, uh, Brave Violet, oh, I'm sorry, not Brave Claude, Legendary Claude, uh, Brave Female Violet, and the tankiest dragon, colorless dragon, Medius. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I think there is no losers this time around. Everybody is a solid unit. Yeah, I mean, I'll be, I'll be real with you here. This is actually the first, uh, legendary slash mythic banner that we've had in a while that is basically very cancerous at best. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, I mean, I honestly... And also, for everybody that's going to be summoning on this banner, because I know there's going to be a lot of people, please try to make sure that you save up your orbs just a little bit, because we do got the New Year's banner coming uh, coming out here in about a week's time. So mm -hmm. you guys better be cautious on what you're spending here. Oh yeah, totally. Now, I would say this is a really good banner to summon on, though, because, I mean, all the units are great, of course, and of course, Shez is the big standout, though. But of course, like GDK said, we got the New Year banner coming, and maybe they're going to contain units from, I think, the last book or or something like that. Uh, you can get the last book in time. Yeah, so we, we yeah, probably, I mean, we're probably going to have either, to... Huh? It's either Tellius or Fate from the last couple times. Because, I mean, basically they had the Fate character back about a few years ago. And then last year was Tellius. So there could be a chance that maybe it might be Tellius or it could be a different, uh, different game all in general. For all mm -hmm. we know, it could be another Fate uh, or Three Hopes. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um... 
Yeah, definitely have a lookout for that. Uh, don't, like, lose your mind by spending all your orbs. I know it's getting close to Christmas and you want to see if you got a good gift or not. And that's me if you're not on the naughty list, of course. <laughs> because if, you go if you're on the naughty list, then Santa Claus from Violent Night is going to come down and just beat the living uh, bleep out of you. So don't let that happen, though. Be on the... Uh, I, 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 hold on, hold on. You... A G Flash to superhero on the naughty list. No, 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 I'm not on the naughty list. I'm just saying I, I don't want my fans to be on the naughty oh, list. Oh, your fans? Okay. Well, if anybody is on the naughty list, it has to be Ken Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I on Because you're the biggest simp that went all out after uh, after you saw a net. The one that we okay. didn't have to. It's a wonder that we didn't have a whole rampage into the studio bit. Okay, yeah, that's true. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, well, I mean, Can Dog poured his heart out for uh, Annette, and uh, he, he got what he wanted, though. So, I will mm -hmm. say, Can Dog is fine. Yeah, I, I, I'll use all my, probably the rest of my looks here anyway. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, hopefully but... GDK is on the the nice list, though, not the naughty list. I'm probably on the maybe list because let's just be real. The holiday season for this uh, for this year or any year, especially for the retail. I mean, I love the holiday season, but the retail portion of it, I hate. Mm -hmm. Especially, yeah, especially the with this cause... whole thing. Oh, yep. by the way. Speaking of uh, Faye stuff, um, how are you guys thinking about the Black Knight Festival shenanigans that we're getting? Those, those are really good little <laughs> stories, though. Yeah, it is. Though, also at the same time, I'm more curious to see what the uh, Black Knight's going to give us uh, for our annual Christmas gifts in Faye. Yeah. Because you know that we get them every year, correct? I wow, you guys, that you guys should get a little bit more enthusiastic. Jeez, you're such buzzkills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I was, anyway, oh, like I was um, saying, um, I'm probably on the naughty list. Being you how think so? My Christmas was. Mm. Oh, well. Oh, um, real quick, um, I noticed this, though. So, if you go on Twitter now, because, you know, Twitter has been through a lot of changes right now, and now all the companies and, like, official accounts, they're all with the gold check mark now. Oh, and also, yeah. I think all of these official accounts, instead of having the round, like, circle, like, profile icon, it's now a square. Because, Faye, if you look at the official uh, Twitter account for Faye, is no longer a round round icon. It's it's a square now. So that's pretty interesting. Hey. And of course, Black Knight is running the Twitter account. And I gotta say, I really do like Black Knight running the Twitter account. I never expect that he would run it though. But he's uh, he's doing a good job of running the account. And uh, I've seen some pretty hilarious um, comments on it though. <laughs> So, and uh, of course, whenever he announces news, he sometimes will adding adding his like little comment on it, which I do like. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty cool. And I love how when the the current voting that's going on with Engage though, he of course calls Micaiah the silver haired maiden, and <laughs> he says, "My blade shall aid you in this kingdom of Asker." <laughs> So that means he's like very loyal to Micaiah though. I mean, even though I don't know what the history between the two are. And then of course- uh, hmm? It's, uh, I mean, it's not much. I mean, he did, uh, even though that he is an enemy in the uh, Path of Radiance game and stuff, um, she was like a descendant of uh, where Sanaki was ruler and stuff. So, I mean, it makes sense why he would say that, but I mean, uh, did you have a look and see what he said in the Ike portion? Yeah, this is what he says. So, Gawain's son, Ike, 
an unexpected development that I will once again lay eyes upon him. Now then, who should I choose? <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's pretty interesting, though. Well, he always did see Ike's arrival. Oh yeah, for sure. So th this time has been pretty pretty fun, though. That Black Knight gets to, you know, uh, run the Twitter account. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So if you want to have some fun on Twitter, then go go uh, see what Black Knight tweets, though. Uh, that'll be pretty entertaining for you. Or basically go through the story mode with Sanaki and all the other units. But do remind, uh, just a little reminder that this will be ending very soon. Oh yeah, once like Christmas is over, then yeah, uh, Black Knight will have to retire. So enjoy it while you can. Yeah, I wish they, I wish they could do it for all of the, uh, all the special events, you know, because it just seems like that everybody enjoys it a lot better than having the owl take over. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, <laughs> that's. Uh... The owl, but it is pretty cool. Yep, exactly. Um. Oh. So, so yeah, that's uh, that's our impression for the Shaz banner. So let us know in the comments, what do you think of it? Are you going to summon it? Are you going to wait for the New Year banner? And, uh, or are you just going to wait it out and see what other spicy stuff they're cooking up, though? And if you like what I do, please like, share, and subscribe. You want to see me do more of these videos. And, and I will see you all in my next video. So thank you so much for watching. And it's your boy, the G-Fly, signing out. Bye. Bye.